I hope you're having an amazing day. As you saw from the title of this video, we're going to be going through my entire Dollar Tree collection. It's actually quite a bit of products and we're just going to do some rapid reviews on everything and just tackle everything that I own from Dollar Tree in my makeup collection. How fun is that? And this was inspired by an amazing YouTuber which I'll have on the screen. She is amazing. Definitely check her out and she actually did a video really similar to this and if you like Dollar Tree makeup, you're going to love her channel. So definitely follow her. I'll have her link down below. If you want to see everything that I own from the Dollar Tree, just keep on watching. But before that, don't forget, if you like drugs and makeup, go ahead and stick around, subscribe, maybe hit the bell so you're notified whenever I upload. And if you could like the video, if you like it, and the video is going to start right now. Let's start off first with the way that I do my makeup. So first of all, I go in with brows. So I have two products here. The first one is the Wet n Wild Mega Clear uh, Mascara. It's for your brows and your lashes, I believe. And this is a really great product. Not only do I love the packaging, but it also works really well. I just love how it leaves the brows. It definitely sets them down and I love this product here. So glad that I found it at the Dollar Tree. The other product that I actually used wrong the last time that I used this in my, uh, I believe it was like a full face of Dollar Tree makeup. I'll have that down below if you didn't watch it. Um, I used this, the e.l.f. Shape and Stay Brow Pencil and I did use it incorrectly. I thought this was to clean up the brows or any mistakes that you had but it's actually a, I guess like a clear brow gel where this is how the product looks. So it's supposed to be kind of like that soap brow trend is what some people were telling me in the comments and you're supposed to throw it on the brow just to kind of give you that stick to give you that laminated look on the brow so i'm going to definitely have to um, reuse this and see how i like it but so far using it that first time i wasn't really impressed but i did use it um, incorrectly so we'll see how i feel about this later on let me know if you own this how you feel about this product down below but these are my two eyebrow products so next i would go on to eyeshadow i have a couple of single shadows from the dollar tree starting off with the beauty benefits single shadows these are their color squad eyeshadows and these are stunning this one here is in fun in the sun which is a more sparkly shimmer shade and then we have this one which is a pink in bikini pink and this is like a shimmery pink shade as well which would also i thought it was like a matte shade but it does have a little bit of a like a pearl shimmer in the product both of them are stunning really nice um products this one was actually in one of my shot my stashes and i was using it in the inner corner so stunning they work so nice so if you like um single shadows i definitely recommend you guys check these out they're really cute really compact definitely worth the dollar i have a couple of their little beauty Beauty pots from LA Colors. This is their eyeshadow pot in the shade Glam. This is the one in Mesmerizing. This one comes with more matte tones. This one's in Desert Vista. And to be honest, I'm glad that I have these in my collection, but I never really reach for them. I don't really recommend them. I recommend you guys check out the face pots if you see them. They look like this, but they have like a blush, a contour, whatever, highlights. I recommend you guys check the, those out. Um, instead of the eyeshadow ones, because I don't really reach for them, I forget about them, um, but that's me. If you're into those single shadows, maybe you'll use these more, but honestly, don't reach for them. I kind of forget about them, but then I am glad that I have them in my collection. Use them hopefully soon. We'll probably do a LA Colors like full face or something, and we can give these a try just i don't know i i don't like the fact that there's like three shades in here i wish they would have done one like a bunch of single shadows just in these little pots i think that would have been cool because they're such a small pan you can't really like stick your brush in each one it's just a weird situation i don't know i'll definitely have to give these a try later on in a different video but i don't really reach for these as often as i like we're gonna quickly go through the eyeshadow palettes that i own from the dollar tree starting off with la colors this is a palette that a lot of people were telling me is amazing i had to try it so i ended up picking this up and this is the one in wild flowers and these are all shimmer shades i actually use these in a video and these were okay, not my favorite. I actually had a couple of these LA Colors palettes. I did get rid of the other two, but I, the last one that I own from the Dollar Tree specifically is the LA Colors Smoky palette. I do have some other ones, but those were from the, the big lots. So this is the only one that I have from the Dollar Tree, and this is so nice. And the color story is really nice. I really love this one specifically. The um, kind of smokier tones work really great, and I love the shimmers in this palette. So definitely recommend if you see this. It's a nice formula, especially for that kind of going out look. I think you're 
you're really gonna enjoy this one. The other one that I have is from Hard Candy, and this one I believe is called the Aphrodisiac Palette, Aphrodisiac Palette, and this is actually one that I've never touched. I think I've swatched a couple times, but I've never really used on the eye, so one day we'll do a full face of Dollar Tree makeup and we'll use this, but honestly I haven't touched it at all, kind of forgot about it, but this is from the Dollar Tree. And then the last one and the newest one that to my collection is the Wet n Wild Nude Awakening Palette. This is actually one that I featured in my most recent Dollar Tree video, and this is so nice, definitely recommend. Check out that video and see how it performed. It was a really nice palette, and I just love the shades in here, surprisingly. I thought it was gonna be boring and work kind of average, but honestly, these shades worked really well on the eye, so definitely check out that video if you haven't already. This is a really great pick as well. This is also a kind of eyeshadow product. This is the Flower Beauty uh what is this called double take eye marker and cream shadow and that's how that looks i believe this one's in pool party it comes with a liquid shadow on one side and a liner on the other this is okay i actually use this also in a video and i felt like the shimmer shade was nice i just patted it on the lid and it looked nice but the marker was okay not too black um, I think this is an okay product. I was really excited that I found Flower Beauty at Dollar Tree, so look out for that. Um, but I think this is an okay product, not something for me, but if you're into that product, they also offer this at the Dollar Tree. Let's talk about pencil liners. They do sell the LA Colors pencil liners. These are the auto eyeliners. I really love these. They're really nice and creamy and they are retractable. They work really well for me. I've heard a couple of people are not fans of this product, but I honestly really like it. You don't have to sharpen it really easy just to throw in the waterline and go and I really like this it's really blendable and it just looks stunning on the lower lash line um, so definitely recommend this and it comes in various tones as well also available on the Shamase site if you're looking for that an eyeliner that I'm not the biggest fan of is the Beauty Benefits Color Squad eyeliner and this is just their purple one and this one's in I don't think it has a shade name on it but didn't like this it's super watery I would recommend you stay away from these they're really watery and not, not the greatest formula honestly and it's again I picked it up because it's purple and my favorite color is purple I have some purple liners from Shamase but this just isn't one of my favorites we have the LA Colors Tattoo Stamp and this is the one in the flower one I actually use this in a couple videos as well it's so stunning just to give a little extra something to any look it's so cute and they have a heart as well as a star and and the flower one these are so nice we have two brown eyeliners starting off with the ellie colors eye marker funny enough i actually used the black one today these are really nice i think i like the black one better than this brown one the brown one is definitely one that you have to build up quite a bit because it's so watery let me give you guys a close-up look at that and it also comes in a blue which i haven't tried but i do own um so yeah i think the brown one is okay but if you can get your hands on the black one the black one works really well really pigmented and it's really nice and then we have the um, mega eyes from wet and wild this is also from the dollar tree in a brown shade no i mean if you had to pick between these two i think this one works way better than the wet and wild this one's just really really dry it just kind of drags the eye when you're trying to do a wing or whatever not the greatest liner in the world yeah so i do not recommend sorry about that i like cut off um randomly so i don't recommend the wet and wild one but you know if you had to choose between the two get the ellie colors if you're looking for that brown liner and these are the only ones available but definitely recommend the black one in this um, line um, but this one stay away from it it's not good I completely forgot to mention this. this is actually a single shadow as well but this is a liquid version this is the LA Colors liquid eyeshadow in the shade Cheers this is okay not something I'm gonna reach for often honestly I don't know why I picked it up I think I just picked it up for the video like for video purposes but I'm honestly not gonna reach for it it was an okay formula I just don't really reach for I don't know what it is about um, liquid shadows in this type of packaging with the doe foot I don't know what it is I just don't reach for it as much as I used so I used to use single um, liquid shadows a lot but lately I just don't I just stick more to the eyeshadows the powder form and stuff so we'll see maybe I'll get into it soon who knows but eh, it's a kind of ink product another ink product is the Beauty Benefits Flutterly La uh, Lengths Mascara this is okay also in a shot my stash I'm gonna have to declutter it soon because I've had it for a long time but that's the Dofa applicator I think this is okay if you want really really natural lashes with just a tinge of uh, color to them I think you're gonna like this but it doesn't really do anything extraordinary moving on to some face products the first one here is the LA color 
whoa <laughs> the first one here is the la colors face primer and this is their color correcting one i didn't see other like la colors um primers at my local dollar tree and i wanted to try a dollar tree primer and the one that was available were these and this is the color that i decided to pick up for some reason i don't like it i don't know i don't know what it's supposed to do that's what i'm it says clear it minimizes pores but it goes on like this white type of product it's really interesting and i just i don't know i don't reach for it as often as i wish i did maybe i'll try to use it up soon but the one that i've been gravitating more towards is this one here which is the broadway colors color correcting face primer i think this one works way better and it's also color correcting but this one does sink into the skin and i feel like this one does more to the face than this one both of them again are from the dollar tree moving on to foundation we have two ellie colors foundations the first one is the matte liquid foundation it looks extremely orange on my skin i believe this is the shade beige and really orange on my skin tone i think this is an okay foundation i mean if you had to pick between these two i think i like this one more this is more full coverage than this one this one's more of that everyday kind of foundation this is their liquid makeup foundation almost through it i love the packaging that it kind of pushes up so you can see how much you have left in there but if I had to pick a favorite, I'd say this one. This one's full coverage and it blends in nicely. It is really nice on my skin as well because I have oily skin. It is more matte, um, but both of them are kind of eh. I think you could do better on the Shop Missy site, but these are also from the Dollar Tree. To blend it in, I use the Wet n Wild Little Carrot uh, sponges that I used recently in a video. And these are really adorable, mostly for, you know, that concealer um, application. I do have another one, but it's dirty. But this did come in that little Wet n Wild, like a carrot type of packaging really cute and then the concealer that i have from the dollar tree is the ellie colors concealer and this is a really deep shade i believe this was in beige or tan and i do want to use this up and finally get it out of my collection it doesn't even have any more words on it it rubbed off but as you can see i do have i've been getting through it you can see through the packaging now so hopefully soon this will be out of my collection i just have to use it under my concealer not the greatest concealer in the world which is why i don't like it super super natural really lightweight doesn't really do anything except give you this greasy kind of look on the under eyes so i'm not the biggest fan of this product let's talk about a couple cream products the first one is the la colors conceal correct it says it's a highlight um i didn't really enjoy this product it didn't really do anything extraordinary however these here are really amazing these are the la colors glow stick and the blush stick really amazing both of them work so well this one will give you that kind of glow from within look amazing i think you're really gonna enjoy this if you like that um the blush is really pigmented but it's also really blendable you can definitely um take a little by little to build it up if you're scared of that cream kind of blush look but this is stunning both of them are an amazing formula and i definitely recommend you guys check these out over this this didn't really work that well for me um but these are really amazing forgot to mention this earlier but this is a lip balm from the dollar tree and this is la colors gelato lip balm and this is in the chocolate version they do have a couple other ones um at the dollar tree and these are really cute and they smell so good basically like a dupe for the eos lip balms next i would go ahead and set the under eyes and what i love using is the la colors contour palette this is so cute this one's in medium and i definitely recommend you guys check these out i always mention these in like favorites videos and i just love it i've used a couple of these up it's really easy to hit pan on i love using the cream shade for the under eyes and then the um, contour bronzer shade for the cheekbones it just works so well definitely recommend such a nice formula really blendable and pigmented as well so definitely recommend this it's a really nice product the other product that i have in this packaging is the la colors bronzer and this one here is in sun goddess really nice i'm still using this product i don't know how i feel about it there's times where it looks really nice but if you do have um texture in these areas it, it is going to enhance it because it's basically a highlight um so i don't know i'm still using this product but so far i think i enjoy it but we'll see how it looks once my skin clears up i just feel like i always have texture here and when i throw this on it just kind of enhances that and i don't really like that look so we'll see this is kind of in the middle i don't know how i'm feeling about this bronzer specifically i also own the ellie colors bronzer and this one here is in baked it's a really nice color as well 
and this one's also like a shimmery type of bronzer but i feel like i gravitate towards this one a little more i don't know if it's a shade i think the shade is a little nicer on my skin tone but again it's that shimmer um, kind of formula so it does enhance texture as well i also have this product here and this is the beauty benefits glow with the flow bronzer and this one's in the shade deep tan this is just a little too deep for me so i do have to take a light hand when i'm using this product but it's so nice really silky and blendable as well a blush from that same line is the beauty benefits long lasting uh, lasting flush blush and this one's in a fruit punch this one i really enjoy but again i have to take a light hand because it is a very bright kind of tone really beautiful also really pigmented and blendable but i think these are going to look stunning on somebody with a deeper skin tone because they're so deep and rich in color really blendable and just really stunning on the face i have a couple other blushes from la colors i'm just going to rapidly go through these because i always talk about these on my channel this one here is in peach rose i have toast and this one here in berry plum this is probably my favorite one as well i love this shade i also have another blush and this is the ellie colors beauty and bloom blush i have the one in rose flush i did also have a highlighter which actually fell and broke which was really sad because it was so beautiful but this is the only thing that i have from this collection and this is the blush stunning and this is more of a shimmer blush really beautiful it definitely reminds me of that milani blush that everybody's obsessed with i believe it's luminoso um really stunning stunning um product so if you see this definitely recommend i have two highlights products the first one is a beauty benefits highlight and this actually did already rub off this is more of a natural kind of highlight but i definitely recommend because it's stunning and it's just a really nice shade this one's in the shade ray of light again a really pigmented formula and it's also buildable you can definitely um throw some on little by little really buildable pigmented it's just a really nice product especially if you're into those everyday kind of looks i think this is going to work so well for you and then we have the ellie colors glow time highlight which is a more vibrant kind of in your face highlight if you like that glow you're going to love this product here so let's go on to lip products i have the elf lip liner here i believe this is just in nude or something i don't really enjoy this i don't know i'm not into those pencil kind of liners we have the wet and well lipstick which i actually mentioned i believe in a favorites video it's such an amazing shade i love this product it's, it's just stunning i love the shade but i also like the formula it's a really great formulation i um, definitely recommend you guys check it out if you haven't already these are so nice and the dollar tree have various um shades as well i have two of the ellie colors lip stains honestly not my most favorite product this is such a lightweight formula it just kind of tints the lips but you do have to build it up to get the tint on the lips to show up i don't know i don't really like this product i don't recommend it honestly it's really uneven as well it looks really patchy on the lips definitely i'd say if you see these skip out on them that's just a look at those if you wanted to know this one's in alpha and this one's in queenship if you are interested in these but not really the greatest formula was a time where they offered the ellie colors velvet lip mousses and i have a couple of them here i'm really just going to show them real quick because i've mentioned them so many times on my channel but those are just a quick look at those they're really nice i love the shades and again they remind me of the nyx lip creams they are that kind of velvet formula that's in between a lipstick and a liquid lipstick really comfortable on the lips definitely recommend you guys check out at least one color if they if they offer them at your dollar tree i have a couple lip glosses from the dollar tree the first one here is the ellie colors intense color lip gloss i don't like this honestly i hate the applicator i don't like the shade i just kind of wish i would have skipped out on this product so yeah it's just in my collection i have the wet and wild mega last um lip color this was okay it's a really nice shade if you want to do that nude lip this is this is okay i just kind of forget about it as well as the maybelline um color jolt but they do always offer these in various tones at the dollar tree i have the ellie colors um uh, lip gloss this one's in the shade happiness definitely one of my faves this is so nice it smells good and it looks extremely glossy on the lips not gloopy at all definitely recommend if you're into lip gloss the beauty benefits lip the so lit lip glosses and these are both really beautiful definitely recommend it's such a great formula it feels really lightweight but they also offer that kind of glossy lip without being gloopy or getting on your all over like your teeth or whatever these are really nice as well lastly we have the ellie colors diamond uh, crystal gloss and this one's an amethyst i think this is so cute i basically got it for the packaging i don't really use the gloss on the inside it does take a while to get the product out 
because the doe foot is kind of small you get a little bit of product in there so i don't really like it for the formula but for the packaging i think this is so adorable and lastly setting spray we have the ellie colors hydrating facial mist and this is so nice it gives you a nice hydrated look to the skin it gives you a nice kind of glow from within kind of look it kind of meshes everything together everything looks stunning on the face when you use this product i definitely like it so definitely recommend if you are looking for a setting spray at the dollar tree this one's really really nice and they come in various scents as well so we made it to the end i hope you enjoyed watching as much as i enjoyed filming this for you today everything that i talked about on the names of the prices are going to be down below as well as any videos that i mentioned throughout this video or videos that i uploaded last week don't forget i upload three times a week on tuesday thursday and sunday so if you can stick around that would be amazing i have my insta handle displayed on the screen i post a lot of makeup finds from drugstore to high end so if they're interested go ahead and follow me there and it'd be so amazing if you could like and subscribe of course you don't have to you're your own person and you make your own decisions but it wouldn't hurt to give this video a like and i'll see you guys on the next one bye